everybody. We're going to look today at the... Oh my god, I almost got it in focus right off, right off the bat. This is the Hongdian D1 overlay fountain pen. This has been very, very popular. Um, since I'm holding a camera in one hand and the pen in another, I'm not going to show you too many other features here. We'll wait to the, the next scene. Uh, but maybe you can see that I have some red ink towards the top. Or maybe you can't. I'll show that to you in a moment. Um, this particular pen has been an adventure in that the first one didn't operate properly. The first Tongyan I've had any sort of a problem with. And that's the bad news, uh, and all sorts of difficulty with the, with the piston. But the good news is that uh, Hongdian, through Brittenham Lee, the, who I had obtained the pen from, uh, uh, from uh, Asvine, his company, very very responsive as he has always been, and we, we worked out the problems and rectified it, to our mutual satisfaction. Stay tuned for some more details about that. And let me see if I can shut this off with one hand. Probably not. Let's... Okay, and here is the Hongdian D1 overlay fountain pen, which I've come to call the Batman overlay, just because... See here at the top of the cap? That reminds me of Batman. I'm sure that wasn't intentional, but that's what it reminds me of, and that uh, is throughout the appearance of the overlay. The rest uh, seems to be kind of a floral pattern. Uh, this has not been named as such, so. I'm calling it the Batman. Uh, 2023 really seemed to be the year of the Chinese overlays. I have uh, four or five pens that fit that description now. And perhaps I'll do a, a video a bit la later comparing one to another. But I wanted to give the D1 its own look. As uh, this has been a challenging pen for me. Uh, the original one that I got, which had an X-Fine nib, which I haven't actually tried yet, had all sorts of problems with the piston itself. The piston knob uh, didn't work and the cap seemed to break off from the piston and wouldn't seat properly. Anyway, the that's the negative. The positive is that uh, I dealt with Hongdian directly through emails and we tried different things. They sent different parts of the pen to see if we could correct it. Uh, and it ended up that we couldn't. So they finally uh, sent me a, well, the cap is from the original, but everything else uh, is a re replacement here, including the fact that this is now an F nib, which is fine with me, <laughs> pun intended. Um, so it took a while to actually do anything with this model of pen. And it's the first experience I've had with Hongdian that wasn't 100% positive as far as what I received, but was 100% positive as far as correcting of the problem. The very nice feature on the cap is this spring loaded clip, which is the first 
time I've noticed that usage of a spring clip on a Hongdian. I don't have every single Hongdian model because they seem to produce a new one every seven days. Uh, but let me see if I can... You can actually see the spring mechanism through the overlay. Let me see if I can get a little closer. And you can see just about there, if you look closely, the actual spring. So that's kind of neat, having a transparent body overlay that allows you to see details like that. And of course you can see the nib inside, the feed. And while I have this particular magnification on, let's take a look at, uh, well, let's take a look at the cap itself. LT Hongdian on the front. And on the rear is the model number D1. And let's take a look at this nib. If I can get it. There we go. And focus. Hongdian nibs are very attractive. And See if I can read this through the camera, or if I have to pull it aside to read it with a loop. Well, I'm sure this is visible on the video. It's just a little hard with uh, some of the glare of the light I'm using to see it through the camera itself. And a little close-up of... That Batman symbol, that's how it strikes me. Again, I don't think that's <laughs> intentional. Batman appearance, but it's throughout the, the design of the overlay. And I have filled this. Uh, I put uh, Monteverdi Red in here. And let me see if I can shine a better light through this without blinding all of us. Okay, there we go. Very attractive pen. The Once I received the replacement pen, the piston mechanism worked perfectly as all the other Hongdians I have have done. A demerit for me is this section. I find it very slippery. Um, and unlike a lot of other metal sections which have some either roughening of the finish or striations uh, to cause, to help uh, prevent slippage uh, in the section itself, I find this almost unusable for me. It's just a little too slippery. I'm not a huge fan of metal sections in any case. Uh, but other than the flare out at the tip of the section, which helps, uh, they've done nothing on this particular model to avert the slippery feeling of the section. And it's just not a pleasant experience for me. Uh, I don't think I have particularly oily hands. In fact, I'm sure I don't. But uh, I wanted to report that from the beginning. Um, this F-nib, which is the first one I used, 
Uh, again, I haven't tried the the XF that I originally received. Produces a very fine line, finer than any other Hongdian. Oops, I've had this open too too long. There we go. Very very fine. Um, Almost, when I first started running with it, almost seemed to be an X fine, but I've looked at the two nibs end on through a loop, and the X fine nib is definitely finer and has less tipping material. Um, so I will switch out the nibs and try the X fine as well, but this is uh, a true. Western fine, whereas most of the Hongdians have fine nibs that are quite generous in the line that they lay down. So this actually is a truer fine to me than most uh, Hongdians I have used previously. So let me pause this and let me put in that X fine nib and we'll compare it. So let me do a few no pressure. Let me do a few lines here so we can compare once I put the X fine in. And actually this provides a little bit of line variation uh, with some pressure on the downstrokes. So that's quite interesting. All right, let me pause this and be back anon. Okay, here we have the X-Fine nib. I cheated a little by dipping it in the bottle of Monteverdi Red to get things moving. Uh, so let's... So that's not a cut on my finger. That's Monteverdi Red ink. So let's... Uh, Uh, this is, didn't work because I don't have it flowing from the ink reservoir yet. Let me dip again just to give a quick idea. Definitely an X fine. So. A little hard to see because this was dipped and it's not yet feeding from the reservoir ink because I didn't show enough patience. Let me dip again. Well, we definitely get some line variation with this as well. Hopefully you can see that this is definitely finer than the fine. It really is an X fine and uh, almost like a pilot fine, which is a Western X fine. So I'm getting ink all over me because of my the dipping. Now well, this really does look like blood, doesn't it? I'll have to use this ink again in Halloween. Um, but overall, a very lovely overlay pen. And other than that, for for me, very slippery section. This could easily be a, a daily writer. Let's take a look at the cap top, if I can get a, you know, lighting properly. And so we have uh, Hongdian Fortune and D1, 
Lantian. And you see the lovely bird of peace that Hongdian uses quite frequently on the cap tops. So a very attractive pen. And one that I am happy to use on occasion when my fingers are particularly dry. <laughs> Again, your, viol your mileage may vary. Let's see if I can go, okay. This is my new camera. There we go, new phone and camera. Still learning how to e adjust the focus and distance based on a, a visual slider on the screen. And it's not the easiest thing to use. So that is the Hongdian D1. Um, let's see what I have nearby me. Here's a Jinhao 100 overlay. Very similar in size. Um, the latest from Asfine, much larger overlay. This is the P80. And the Asfine's original overlay, the V120 169, V169. There's so many numbers now in all these Chinese pens. It's hard to keep keep track. So these are not fair comparisons because they're larger pens and they have I chose colored acrylic. And the Jinhao is, is most similar in size and shape to the Hongdian D1, as you can see. I chose gold for that. Um, I will link in the description of the video uh, directly to the D1. And I don't think there are other overlay colors. I could be mistaken, and we will know when we follow that link subsequent to this. Um, but it looks very nice in the all silver tone. Very almost Victorian appearance, which is wonderful. And the nibs are terrific as always with Hongdian. Right, well, we got a little bit of flow from the reservoir. Very little. Let me dip one more time. And let me do it to the other side of the fine nib. And this is the extra fine. A little difficult to see. Too much line variation, but I feel it. And you will too. That's it for this video, I think. Thanks much for tuning in. And please, if you enjoyed it, please hit the like button, the subscribe button, the I love his nibs button, if YouTube has put that up yet. I've been after them forever to do that. All right, take care. Thanks.